Good morning, everyone. I uh, wanted to continue our survey through uh, 2 Timothy. Uh, we're starting a new book. We've come a long ways. If you come all the way with me, and some of you have, uh, we only got a few more books of Paul to do. But 2 Timothy uh, is the last book that... Uh, Paul wrote, and uh, this guy's got it at 60, this is a common man Bible, David Hoffman, and he's got it at 66 AD, Ruckman's got it at 68, you take the, uh, usually if you got a date, it'll give it a close estimate, but uh, this guy's got a pretty good intro, he does real good introductions, so uh, I'm just going to read that. Second Timothy was Paul's last will and testament to the his dear son in the faith. Timothy was a young pastor, and Paul wrote his final advice, encouragement, exhortation, and warning to him. The last words of Paul instructed Timothy as a soldier in the spiritual battle uh, for the faith. A uh, faithful soldier seeks to master his spiritual weapon in the sword of God. The letter has four chapters, 83 verses. Paul gave Timothy four additional charges to the 12 of the first epistle. Timothy was uh, second to be a faithful, pure, strong, tough soldier of Jesus Christ who continually studied the sword of the spirit. The third charge warned of perilous times and evil men. The final charge ordered Timothy to faithfully follow the command of the captain of his salvation and to finish the fight until, the, until death or the rapture. This letter was the final inspired letter by, of Paul before his execution by beheading he was a prisoner at Rome under the administration of Nero. Nero was a crazy guy. Uh, if you haven't studied a lot about history, you should look in. He, uh, they say he played a violin while he um, watched Rome burn, and then he blamed it on the Christians, which he probably did it himself. Roman dictators imprisoned Persecuted and martyred Christians, Nero secretly began, oh, well, he's going to tell you that, <laughs> the burning of Rome and blamed it on, to incite the people to wrong, uh, blamed it on Christians, e evil tyrants secretly caused social turmoil and blamed it on their scapegoat to incite the people in the wrong cause. Alert, the alert soldier and student of the word discerns the doctrine doctrinal truths uh, that were prophesied of the last days. World tyrants under Rome's influence will secretly cause social turmoil and they will blame non-conformance uh, under Rome's influence will secretly cause social, tur or, or social turmoil and they will, I'm sorry, my dyslexia is messing up this morning. Uh, the reli I'm just going to start right here. The religious clones of socialism will encourage the people to give up their liberties, peace, safety against the fanatical nonconformist uh, apostasy of pastor breeds of uh, apathy in the people in anarchy in the nation. Faithful soldiers fight apostasy, apathy, and anarchy with an authoritative sword of God until the end. But, uh, yeah, first uh, or second Timothy, it's only got four chapters, but it is packed full of good information. Ruckman here, uh, I won't read all of his, he does a little ranting. But he gives a little more information. The book has four chapters, 83 verses, and 1,666. Whoa, I don't like that number. 
uh, words. And again, he about the same as the intro from him. So this would be the last book that the Apostle Paul uh, ever wrote um, in chronological order. And uh, this is right before his beheading. Uh, now, we're not positive that Paul was beheaded. That's what uh, church history uh, says. So we're kind of just going with what they say. I don't see, have any reason to doubt it. But, you know, it gives a... If you go into church history and the church fathers, you can find out a lot of stuff that may or may not have happened. So I would advise you to take all that with a grain of salt. But, uh, yeah, so Paul's uh, son in the faith, Timothy, this is his last book written to anyone. And uh, it's very, very important. But, again, this is the second book in the pa what they call the pastoral epistles all right folks i hope uh you got a little bit out of the introduction we'll get into chapter one next time and may the lord bless each and every one of you on the other side of the screen and remember uh like i read the intros i take all that with a grain of salt all this is no big deal it's right here what matters read it read it again then read it again it's like uh, onion you take off a pill and then you take off another you get deeper and deeper into it unexhaustible is the word of god all right read your bible pray without ceasing and have a wonderful wonderful day